Hello, um, my name is Zedekiah Tay, and this here is my colleague. Mike Juarez. Uh, today, we are going to be presenting an, 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 an analysis on the financial statements you sent us. First, I would like to talk, talk about the liquidity and some, um, some concerns on some debt. As you can see here, we do have a, a histogram graph of, of three different topics we would like to cover within these two companies and the industry standards that you have sent us. First, we would like to talk about the quick ratio, which demonstrates how much of our debt we can cover. As you can see here, the quick ratio here that the taste beverages is far higher compared to fresh cola, but fresh cola is higher than the industry standards, which is also great. The next topic that we wanted to discuss is the current ratio. This shows how the company's ability to pay short obligations. So basically like loans and debt. Here we can see that Taste Beverages is able to surpass the industry standards. But in comparison to Fresh Cola, Fresh Cola is under the industry standards, which is very concerning. The last topic that we would like to discuss is the debt to total assets. This represents our total debt over assets, meaning how much we owe compared to the assets. Here we can see that total beverages has a higher amount compared to fresh cola, meaning that taste beverages has a lot more debt compared, which is also a very concerning topic for us. Yeah. So expanding more on our concerns with debt, uh, with these three metrics that we pointed out, we see there's a clear winner in all of these metrics. Uh, Taste Beverages is by far much better at managing their debt in the quick ratio, current ratio, and debt to total assets. Well, in debt to total assets, it's hard to actually figure out who is doing well, because as you can see, we are missing the industry standard information. So we can't really apply that's total assets in our judgment of which company is doing well. But I can say for sure that in the quick ratio and current ratio, Taste Beverages is executing much better debt management. Fresh Cola is a concerning company for us because as we see here, they are at or under the industry standards for the quick ratio and current ratio. But moving on, we'll talk about profitability of these companies. So we focused on three metrics on the financial statements you sent us, profit margin, earnings per share, and return on assets or ROA. We see the industry average for profit margin 8.1%. But in our case, these two companies, Fresh Cola and Taste Beverages, both outperformed the profit margin with a 12.3% and 11.2%. Uh, EPS or earnings per share is also shown at $1.08 and 8 cents for the industry average. Fresh Cola underperforms while Taste Beverages overperforms. Now, finally, looking at return on assets, we see that the industry average is 7.2%, but both Fresh Cola and Taste Beverages outperform the ROA with a whopping 11.2% and 9.2%. So, generally speaking here in profitability, we see that Fresh Cola is making more money and is making smarter investments. But Taste Beverages has, an, has a higher EPS, which means that they have less stock out there. And that may correlate over to price earnings. But moving on, we will talk about the limitations of ratio analysis. So ratio analysis, it, ratio analysis is contingent on industry averages. That means that if I compare company A and company B, and I find that company A might make two times more the profit of company B, if company B makes $1 a year, my ratio is two, right? So my ratio is great. But in reality, the numbers are horrible. Making a dollar and two dollars a year is just absolutely horrendous. So off of that example, we need industry averages to actually judge these two companies because comparing them at face value is useless. Number two, uh, ratio analysis does not give us any information pertinent towards the future. This means that we're not able to see what assets are being purchased or even if the company is investing wisely. We can only see the, the breakdown of spending uh, in ratio as well as debt in ratio. Thirdly, ratio analysis is used for comparison of companies with similar sizes and classifications. Uh, this means that you know comparing Microsoft to a smaller tech company would yield much different ratios as Microsoft is a much older, more established company, right? So these companies are also limited by growth. So we cannot use ratio analysis with companies that are in different phases of growth or if they're massively different sizes.
The next topic that we would like to discuss is reviewing investment valuation models. Here we discuss um, the relative versus absolute. First, I would like to discuss the relative side. It is useful in comparison of companies. Also, that its value is based off of a value of other companies. So when comparing and contrasting similar companies, this method is far more efficient compared to the absolute. Absolute, although it's useful for single company comparisons, basically meaning that absolute values of everything, this can be used to look at growth of a company and more specifically to their cash management. So lastly, we decided to conduct an overall comparison of what we think about these two companies. So we decided to focus on four metrics for this, the quick ratio and current ratio to focus on debt management, and then profit margin and price earnings to look at uh, how much money they're making and their price in the stock market. So we established that, you know, in, when Mike was talking that uh, fresh cola and taste beverages had much different standards in debt management. Mainly speaking, taste beverages was doing far, far better than fresh cola. They had a higher quick ratio and a higher current ratio, meaning that they could pay for more of their debt if they needed to, but they also were doing better year to year. Now, so if taste beverages is the winner, I guess, in debt management, it's fair to say that fresh cola is the winner in profit margin, as their profit margin is 12.3%. But this doesn't tell the full story, as our price earnings for Fresh Cola is 50.3 times, which is almost double the industry standard, while Taste Beverages it has a price earnings of 24.3 times. Now, in the stock market, this would mean that Fresh Cola is relatively overvalued, while Taste Beverages is undervalued. So if you were to pick which company to invest in or to assist, we would highly, highly recommend investing in Taste Beverages as they're doing very well with their debt, they have an above average profit margin, and their price earnings is still undervalued. So, thank you. Thank you.